Well, hi, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski coming off of what was a uh, rather uh, cool weekend out there. Temperatures below average, and that's not going to change anytime soon as those temperature readings remain below average. And we'll see more clouds than sun over the next week with several chances of rain and possibly a few chances that look a little better than most as we'll see a couple of days in there which I'll show you here in just a bit that look pretty promising for some decent rains on the way. Now immediately this morning a little fog in fact a lot of us seeing light fog but some dense fog is uh, being seen across northern north central Nebraska where a dense fog advisory is in place until 10 o'clock this morning for those five counties there in Boyd, Kibaha, Brown Rock, and Holt counties, including the cities of O'Neill and Ainsworth. Uh, again, that's where the worst of it is, where fog has uh, dropped that visibility below uh, a quarter of a mile. Otherwise, uh, most of the rain has actually already moved down into Kansas, so Futurecast is a little aggressive with this, but there's still going to be a small chance of a few, a few hit or miss showers or some drizzle today, maybe even enough instability for a couple of rumbles of thunder across the south later this afternoon. Now, much of the day will be spent cloudy or mostly cloudy, but we may sneak in a little bit of sun later to help warm things up out there. But it will not by no means be a warm day out there. In fact, I'm wondering if my temperatures might be a little too optimistic. Uh, the chances of rain will start to drop off after dark tonight, but clouds will start to fill back in towards tomorrow morning, perhaps even some patchy fog to start off, off in some locations again on your Tuesday morning. Chances of rain will then start to pick up during the day, especially off towards the southwest and the west. Uh, later in the afternoon hours is another disturbance comes in out of the Rockies. This is the one that will bring us a better chance of rain and thunderstorms for parts of the area. Now, what I'll say right now is this model has it mostly in the south. Some have it farther north, some have it in the middle of Nebraska. So it could be pretty much anywhere, but there there is a decent chance that some of us are going to get some good rains overnight Tuesday night and into Wednesday as this progresses east across the state. And again, this is one of our two better chances, the Tuesday night through Wednesday time frame, and then again down the road towards Friday through Saturday, which I'll talk about here in your seven-day forecast. Now, highs today, as I said, these may be too optimistic. Some dense fog early, otherwise uh, slight chance of rain or some drizzle out there for today, maybe some sun later on. Patchy fog, otherwise a chance of rain, mostly just a slight chance at this point, mid-70s for highs. And again, as I said, some of these temperatures may be too optimistic. Yesterday, we saw such thick cloud cover that temperatures struggled to reach 70 in some spots. And uh, that was with that thickest cloud cover. So if the, we don't see any sun, it, that is a possibility today. Otherwise, slight chance of rain, maybe some drizzle out there. Could be an isolated thunderstorm or so. Same thing to the east here, although maybe a little warmer towards Lincoln and Beatrice in the upper 70s. Temperatures stay mostly in the mid-70s Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, that best chance of rain Tuesday night to Wednesday and then winding down Wednesday evening. Thursday is our best chance of staying dry, so I'm going with a high around 80 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies. But then late Thursday night, a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms returns with a better chance coming in Friday. Our best chance uh, on, in that sequence there would be Friday night into Saturday, especially Saturday morning, of seeing showers and thunderstorms. And once again, temperatures staying cooler because of the extra clouds and rain around. Temperatures only in the mid-70s. A slight chance of rain and thunderstorms on Sunday, so maybe a little warmer in the upper 70s. And lows mostly in the upper 50s to near 60. With the extra clouds around during the overnight hours, it doesn't get overly cool like what we had last Friday morning, for instance. But these temperatures by early to mid-August standards are uh, going to be about 10 degrees below average most days. Some days about 5 degrees below average. With, uh, again, signs that this really heat really not returning through at least the 15th of August, maybe a little bit longer than that. Let's just hope, because we're only two weeks out now from the solar eclipse, that this weather pattern changes a little bit two weeks from now, because we do not want to see all this cloud cover on that Monday, the 21st of August here. That would be a terrible thing for our economy and for just our neck of the woods in general, for something that's so rare to see in a once-in-a-lifetime event for most of us. So, uh, yeah, let's hope we can get those clouds out of here and maybe get some I, hey, I will, I'll even take some hotter weather if we can get some sunshine out there by August 21st. But again, below average. Over the next week, some places may pick up some good rain, maybe an inch or two of rain when it's all said and done, but it's likely that a few of you, as we've seen a lot recently, may miss out and not get very good, very good rains over the next uh, week or so. But let's hope we can all get at least something here over the next uh, week ahead. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you all have a great Monday, and God bless.